Hi, I'm James with OneHourSmartHome.com, and today we are going to talk about the best DIY security systems. And I'm going to give you a little primer on DIY versus professional security systems so you understand kind of what the differences are. So DIY security systems are one of those things that has come out probably in the last five, maybe 10 years. Uh, and what they are are security systems that you can set up and install yourself rather than calling a professional to do it. Now, a lot of people think that a DIY security system is not as good as a professional security system, which in fact, a lot of times they are the exact same sensors from the exact same factories. The only difference is that XYZ security company puts a different brand logo and packaging on theirs and requires you to have a professional installer and pay much higher monthly fees. The security system business model is built around you paying every month a recurring fee for your home security when you go with a professional installer. And they try and tell you that they've got all these highly trained experts and technicians and all that, but typically, a lot of these professional companies have people that are no better or worse than what you can do yourself. And the reason being is because 10 years ago, a lot of the sensors were hardwired and that did require a professional to run the wiring throughout your home. Now, because a lot of these companies wanted to cut costs and not have to pay all this skilled labor, they often went to wireless sensors, which allowed people to skip cutting holes in your walls, skip running wires all through your house, and just be able to peel and stick a sensor up or mount a sensor that is wireless that then communicates to a base station that then reports to a security system center and professional monitoring station. And don't get me wrong, I have a lot of respect for professional security installers, and in certain cases, it makes sense for commercial properties, banks, all that kind of stuff. But for a lot of people, a DIY security system is a very accessible option to protect your home that would allow you to protect your home at a lower cost and provide you with pretty much the exact same features in technology as a professional installation, but you don't necessarily have to pay that monthly fee or you have to pay a much lower monthly fee than traditional security system companies. And that's what I like about DIY smart home security systems. They add more accessibility at a lower price point so that more people can be protected. And I think that is the point and very important for DIY security systems. Now, DIY security systems will still allow you to report to professional monitoring stations. So if your system is tripped and you are paying for a subscription, which is typically much cheaper than a professionally installed system, you will still have an automatic response from the authorities in your jurisdiction if you are getting the professional monitoring. So the alarm gets tripped, that signal will go to you, obviously your phone, it'll alarm inside your house, and then that will then go to a monitoring center, a call center. Somebody picks up, they try and call you, see what's going on. Is it a true alarm? Is it a false alarm? And if they don't get a response or they confirm that it is an emergency, they will then dispatch the local authorities to check out the situation. So you get pretty much all the same features with a DIY security system as you get with a professional system. You just have to install it yourself and it's very easy to do. But what DIY security system should you get? So we've got this comparison chart here of best DIY security systems. And these best systems also happen to be the most popular systems that are out there on the market right now. You've got Ring, Nest, and Simply Safe. And what I did here was just compare them over four categories. More check marks means a better or higher rating. Less check marks means a lower or uh, lower rating. So we've got function, sensors, cost, and reliability. And the function and sensors kind of overlap and we'll just go through each category and describe each one of these so you get a good idea of kind of what these are about. So the first one is the ring. And I like the ring because it has a ton of functionality. 
and it will work with alexa so you can arm it and disarm it with your voice which i think is a huge benefit because you can be laying in bed and arm the security system uh, a security system that you don't arm is a security system that doesn't do anything you have to have it armed in order for it to work so having voice functionality to arm or disarm your security system is a great function and of course you got to put a passcode through your voice with that so it does have security there you can also arm it from the keypad or you can arm it from your phone uh, it will connect via wi-fi it's got cellular backup coverage uh, if the power goes down or your wi-fi goes down and it also has a backup battery if your power goes down it'll power it for like 24 or 36 hours uh somewhere around there so it'll still work as a security system and call uh the call center if you've got that monthly monitoring uh subscription even if the power is down i really like that feature it has a ton of sensors uh that have additional functionality so you've got window and door sensors motion sensors and a wide variety, which we'll get more into those sensors. So uh, a key thing about the Ring that I like is that you can have multiple keypads and you can get all the accessories on Amazon. So if you have an additional accessory you want, additional sensor you want, you just go on Amazon and get it. And I like having the functionality of multiple keypads because then you can have a keypad in your garage, you can have one at your front door, and you could have one next to your bedside. So you've got all these places where you're entering your home that you could add a keypad so you can quickly turn it on or off and you've got one uh, upstairs before you go to bed to make sure that you arm it. And why I like having multiple keypads or access points is because a lot of people are gonna come in through the garage most of the time if you're driving to and from work, or if you are coming in through your front door, you can have one there so that you can turn it off right away when you get in the door and have a really short delay, which I think is important for turning the alarm on almost immediately when someone unintended comes into your house. You wanna have a super short delay. You don't want the alarm to go off like a minute after or two minutes after, because what good does that do you if you're in your house? You want it to have a super short delay. So having multiple keypads in your access locations to your home, to me is really important so that you can turn those off right when you get in and out of your house and have that short delay and the benefits of knowing within 10, 15, 30 seconds that you've had an intrusion in your house or because you can turn this on and off from your phone, you could uh, even do this right from your phone, have it always armed so there is no delay, or you could have one in the garage and have all your sensors inside of the garage and you could turn it off before you ever even enter your house. So it will have an immediate, uh, it will have an immediate uh, alarm sound when you go off. Uh, the next thing that we've got here is the Nest and we gave that for uh, two, check marks and the reason that only got two check marks is because it doesn't have the same functionality as the uh, ring with having multiple keypads you have a keypad and base station that are combined i really don't like that because that means that you've got to have the keypad and the base station all in one spot and it means that you don't have multiple keypads you can't get multiple keypads because the base station and keypad are integrated and all the expensive components are all in one spot Whereas with the ring, the keypads are just basically a keypad and then they communicate with the base station and the uh, ring keypads are also wireless and rechargeable. So you can place them anywhere. You don't have to have power for them, which I think is a really nice feature. So uh, the only other functionality issue with the Nest is that it doesn't work with Alexa, but it does work with Google Home for voice arming. And the only other one is the sensors. Uh, they have a combination sensor. So it's a window door sensor and motion sensor combined. What I don't like about that is that you have to go through and manually disable the motion sensors if you want the uh, to have the home and away mode. There's basically all three of these have a, a home, away, and a disarmed mode. And uh, in those scenarios, you've got uh, a home mode allows you to arm all the sensors that don't have motion. So like a window and door sensor, it'll automatically go off in home mode if the window or door is opened. If you have an away mode, that arms all your window and door sensors as well as your motion sensors, and the alarm will go off if motion is detected or a window and door is detected. Well, because these have a integrated motion sensor, if you have it in away mode and you walk by a sensor, you're gonna trip it. Whereas with the ring, since it's separate sensors, 
you could just put your motion sensor in a separate location and know where that is and you wouldn't necessarily trip it. So you could have the motion sensor maybe in a basement or a garage or uh, some room that you're not using and you wouldn't have to worry about it as much as with the combined sensor. So I kind of like that uh, functionality. Uh, Simply Safe is very uh, similar function to Ring. You've got a separate base station and separate keypads. So we gave the, that three checks. Um, really, the winners here in this first category are Ring and the Simply Safe. Now, in the sensors, uh, both Ring and Simply Safe have a wide variety of sensors. Uh, the Ring has motion sensors, window and door sensors. You've got a flood freeze sensor, you've got a smoke detector, you've got a smoke detector listening sensor, which is basically a little battery powered sensor that allows you to listen, use your existing smoke detectors and it will listen for a sound from that smoke detector. And if it hears that sound, it will then report uh, as fire or smoke to your alarm system, which I really like that because you can leave your existing smoke detectors and you can, uh, combine it with one of those sensors to add smart home functionality. So I like that. Uh, I had actually a freeze and flood sensor with the ring system. I had one of those installed over the winter and actually got down to freezing temperatures within my house uh, at an exterior wall. We were in the negative teens or negative 20s here in Chicago. And it did alert me on a very cold day that uh, potentially it was getting too cold. I think it alerts you at like 40 degrees. So uh, I was able to avoid a catastrophe of frozen pipe. We had a ton of people with frozen pipes here in Chicago uh, over the last winter. So if you live in a cold climate, uh, that's great to know. Or a flood sensor, it's great for like put by a sump pump or washer dryer or anywhere else where you could have a flood. So I really like that functionality. Um, Simply Safe has a wide variety of sensors, just like the Ring. Um, I think you've got pretty much all the same same sensors there. Uh, and the only one that I believe the Simply Safe has that the Ring doesn't have is a glass break sensor. So to some people, that's important. Um, Any more, I'm just going to tell you the majority of windows, as long as your windows are after 1980 or probably 1990 or something like that, it's what's called tempered glass, and it's super strong. And in a lot of municipalities, if you live in an area that is has storms or hurricane zone or whatever, you have to have super strong glass per the building codes. And this tempered glass is super strong. Like you, you could hit it with a hammer and it won't break. So like when you're a kid, maybe you broke a window with a baseball or something. Um, if, you're, if you're older, well, the reality is a lot of that glass, they don't make that anymore. The glass is high strength tempered glass in a direct uh, hit on glass uh, typically won't break it a lot of times. You have to actually hit tempered glass from the edge of the glass to make it crack. It's very similar to like what's on car windshields. As well as if I'm in my house and I hear glass break, I'm going to wake up. Uh, it's not a quiet thing to do anymore. I've literally, I've thrown a hammer at a tempered glass window and it did not break. And uh, you'd be surprised, it's, it's very strong. So the glass break sensor to me is not super important anymore. Um, you can supplement uh, an area that you're worried about glass break with a motion sensor because it would detect something coming through the window. Um, so that's kind of a thought there. But still, it is a difference. The Simply Safe does have more sensors than the ring. That glass break sensor really is the only one that I know of that is different. Now we've got, uh, oh, and the, the ring, uh, the Nest, uh, like we said, they only have one type of sensor. They only have the motion sensor with the built-in window and door sensor. So it's an open close sensor and a motion sensor all in one. That is the only sensor that the Nest has. So to me, that's kind of a disadvantage. Both of these two have a ton of sensors and this has only one. That's why we gave this one check mark and these other ones get three. Um, in terms of cost, we've got the uh, Ring, Simply Safe, and Nest. And uh, the, all three of these, uh, they let you actually self monitor. So they don't make you pay a fee to monitor your security system. You can actually do it yourself. So it would go off, it would alarm, it will alert you on your phone, and you would be responsible for calling the authorities to say, hey, I've got an emergency, somebody's breaking into my house. Um, whatever, and that's free. Monthly cost is zero. Uh, so I do think that's a good feature because a criminal doesn't know when the alarm goes off, if it's calling to the police 
or if it's just calling to you. And you could be just as effective as long as you're paying attention to it. Um, but in terms of cost, if you do want professional monitoring, the Ring provides an excellent package. Uh, it's $10 a month for professional monitoring, which means that when you get an alarm, it will go to a call center. The call center will then call you to verify, hey, is everything all right? And if they can't verify that everything is all right, they will then call the authorities to check on you, see what's going on, uh, issue an emergency alert to the authorities that your alarm is going off. With the Nest, you're gonna have a cost, and that's so it's $10 a month, and that includes unlimited uh, professional, it includes unlimited recording of, <laughs> I don't know how to say this, your video footage from as many ring cameras as you want to have on your property at one location will be stored for like 30 to 60 days and that's included so with uh, a lot of these other plans or if you only have the ring doorbell or ring cameras you have to pay like three dollars a month to store that footage well if you get the professional monitoring the professional security system with a professional monitoring they just include all that recording costs for you it's included you don't have to pay for it anymore you don't have to pay the three dollars a month so you could have like 10 cameras which would have cost you thirty dollars a month um but now you're only going to pay the ten dollars a month professional alarm monitoring and all those security cameras recording that footage is free with the nest uh they've got uh you know i think it's the highest cost plan out there there's some deals that you can do um, it's anywhere between like 20 and 34, $35 a month. It changes all, all the time based on the promotions. Um, but basically, if you get it from particular providers and particular places that are selling it and you commit to a like one or two or three year contract, you can get the Nest professional monitoring a little bit cheaper around that $20 price point. Um, Simply Safe, I believe it's right around like twelve to fifteen dollars a month for the professional monitoring system, and it's pretty much a flat rate. Uh, you can do some discounts when you're buying it in terms of getting like a month free here or there. They're always running promotions, but in terms of these, uh, in terms of overall professional monitoring cost, it goes uh, Ring is the cheapest, Simply Safe is the next cheapest, and Nest is the most expensive. Um, so that's something you can, should consider when you are uh, buying one of these, what is the monthly cost, as well as what is the cost of the accessories. So you can look up the cost of the accessories for the ring on Amazon. Uh, we'll include some links to that below. Pretty actually inexpensive. It's like two sensors for 40 bucks for the window and door sensors, or maybe $30. I'm not exactly sure, but they do offer uh, some good deals on this stuff if you pick them up like black friday or when they have a launch event there's some good deals on that and the overall system you can get started for pretty inexpensive um the nest is for the parts and pieces a pretty expensive system yeah the base station i don't know must have a lot of technology in it and all that stuff um and then the simply safe it's also pretty much in line with the ring in terms of costs for the parts and pieces uh, but I do think the convenience of being able to buy additional parts and pieces on Amazon, uh, which sometimes runs deals and, uh, it's very transparent with the pricing is a nice advantage there. Um, in terms of reliability, all three of these are reliable. They all have, uh, they connect to your Wi-Fi system and will alert you on your phone, um, when something goes on and they all have professional monitoring. They all have cellular backup, so they will work even in the event that your Wi-Fi system is down, and they all have battery backup uh, built in. So in terms of reliability, these all three are reliable. There's not really any differentiation there. I would trust any of them, protect my home. Um, I'm just a, more of a fan of the Ring than these other two, and the reason being is I can get more parts on Amazon, and they come in like a day or two. Uh, the number of sensors that the Ring has, the low cost, I think, is a really good deal. And if you have multiple Ring products, um, that's really a nice feature. So if you've got like multiple Ring cameras or you're deciding to put other cameras inside your house for like a, a nanny cam or to just see what's going on, maybe you've got dog walker, you wanna check in on your dog or um, you've got cleaning people or contractors, whatever, I like the ability to have the uh, video monitoring for very inexpensive with the Ring. Um, in terms of the Nest, 
Maybe you've already got a Nest thermostat and you've got some other Nest devices and you kind of want to keep everything on one platform, one app. Um, the Nest is then a good choice, uh, but I really think that by the time you go through all the screens and everything, because nothing is like instantaneous on any of these, that just clicking on a different icon on your home screen to go from your Nest thermostat to your Ring security system or your Nest thermostat to your Simply Safe security system, I don't think it really matters. But some people just want to have everything in one app, and I understand that. Uh, if you want that, the Nest offers that. I do think this is a little bit pricey, so I hope the price comes down uh, over time. But overall, reliable, good security system. If you want to keep everything in the Nest system, I get it. That'll do there. Um, and it does work really well with the Google Home system. So Nest and uh, the Ring and Alexa work really well together, and Nest and Google Home work very well together. Um, Simply Safe. Now, this doesn't have like the ecosystem that these have behind them because Nest is part of Google and Ring is part of Amazon and all those companies that work together like Alexa. But Simply Safe, it's like just a security company. It's just an independent security company. They've been around a long time. They have a ton of advertising. You probably hear about it a lot. Uh, it's simple to set up, easy to set up, and uh, it's Simply Safe. There you go. But uh, overall, you know, as time goes on, it might be better to invest maybe in one of these two that has more functionality with these giant players behind it with Ring and Nest, just because it's like voice automation, voice assistance, all that stuff becomes more popular. These two kind of have that advantage because they're part of those companies doing that. And that's not to say Simply Safe can't partner with them and have uh, some of the same capabilities, which they already do. Um, but just down the road, uh, you, you might want to think about that. Um, overall, Simply Safe does offer a good low cost monthly value. Um, by the time you look at all the parts and pieces, you can really get a, a good system for not too much with Simply Safe. So that's, you know, some people just want that, want a basic system and uh, want the low cost. And, and this provides that good option. Really, is Simply Safe and, and Ring. Uh, do provide that as well. Simply Safe just has a lot of good sensors. I like, you know, if you really want to go crazy with the sensors, um, Simply Safe has a, a good selection of those versus the Nest has fewer, and the Ring has maybe like one or two fewer than the Simply Safe. So that could be important to you. But overall, you can't go wrong with any of these three. Uh, as we're approaching the holiday season, um, going into Black Friday and all that stuff, I would check out, if you're considering a security system, I would check out these and see what deals you can get on these. Um, because you don't have to have the professional monitoring plan, I do recommend just having a security system from your home because being alerted if something is going on, um, as well as being able to alert uh, intruders that, hey, we've got a security system, it's going off, it's probably calling the cops, is a lot of value that can deter someone from entering your home or once they enter, they could leave. And if you're inside your home and one of these go off, it's gonna one, alert you to be able to take action, whether it's call the police um, or get all your family into one room or find a way to protect yourself. Uh, I think that's a huge advantage to being alerted to that rather than just being surprised. Uh, so picking up any one of these is a, a good idea, a good way to protect your house, to protect your family and everything in it. And when you think about all the money that you pay for either rent or renter's insurance or home insurance, home in, homeowner's insurance, mortgage payments, you can get into any one of these for less than $500 to get started. And a lot of them a lot less expensive than that. Uh, in the hundreds of dollars, you can even get started. And I think that having a security system even if you don't get the professional monitoring is a great idea. And if you want to pay for the professional monitoring is also a great way to add that additional protection. And if you're unresponsive for whatever reason, uh, be able to have somebody still respond if you can't get to the phone. So hope you're safe, stay safe. Uh, we've got a couple different videos on just home security, home safety systems and how you can protect your family, your home with a security system. And we hope you enjoyed this rundown of our best DIY security systems. You can do this. You don't even need a screwdriver for any of these systems to install. They're all peel and stick anymore. So it's very easy to do. I highly recommend you take this up as a weekend project or a one day project or a couple hour project even. 
and uh, get started with your security system setup. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please like this channel, please subscribe and click on any of the links below if you want to uh, help us, if you want to support us. And that is all we have got.